Now you should be able to get to this point without any problems, really. I mean, that's how easy getting to this point is. But when you get here, getting past this little nuke can be a little bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. So just do what I did. Walk up to him, let him sense you, let him run at you, <laughs> and then run right around that little nuke. Go through here, kick down this door like a boss, jump out the window, when they'll actually let you jump out or climb out it, and then you're home free. Well, you're not really home free. Yeah, he's, he he don't chase you through there, so you good. But when you get up here and you get to this gate, ish is about to get real, kind of. <laughs> you got to be a stealth genius. Here we go, baby. Let's do this. Are you guys from around here? I don't know where. Can't go. Now, I do kill every one of these zombies, these flesh-eating zombies. So if you want to just walk past everybody without killing them, then this may not be a video for you. But if you like killing these noobs, but doing it in a stealth way also, then this is where you want to be. You kill this first guy, it's very, very easy. Just grab one of these bottles, and you hit that Kobe on them. <laughs> Well, you don't actually hit him with it. You just throw it, throw it by him so he walks away from you. And he, you want him to face toward that way the entire time so you can sneak up behind him like sneeze, And then you knife him in the back of the head. Now, I told you I was killing everybody. That was two. Now, to get this other guy, wait till he come. Well... He's coming back right now, so what you want to do is you just want to chill because you want him to walk back behind this little building, whatever you want to call it. It's not, I don't know what you want, this little hut, <laughs> whatever this little cottage, whatever you want to call it. You want him to walk back behind, well, on the side of it. And as soon as he does that, I'm going to show you where I go. I don't walk right up behind him. I see you can turn around in any second. But you're going to see what I do. Now, what you want to do is you want to go up through here. You want to walk to the front of this cottage, whatever you want to call it. And you want to walk right through this door. Now, get all the way up on the door to make sure you don't kick it. <laughs> you don't want to kick that door. Then it's going to alert all the noobs. All the little flesh eating zombies around here. Now, as soon as you get on the other side, you should he should be walking the other way. And then you can just knife him in the back of the head like so. And then burn his body. They're not dead unless you burn them. To me, they're not dead unless you burn them. You get matches earlier in this mission, but that part was so easy that I didn't really want to. Waste your time with that. I don't want to give you a little guide to get through that part when it's... When basically, all you got to do is walk. Grab this syringe. Now, let's keep it moving. Now, when you come out of here... Because <laughs> that almost got me. I'm trying to tell you. 
that right there almost got me. I think if you walk if you walk through there, it's gonna wrap up around your body. It's gonna choke you. You you gonna die basically. Now there are a lot of secret achievements in this game, and I think one of them maybe like burn like a thousand bodies or something, burn a hundred bodies or something like that. So I I just I know I just walked past that one. I forgot to burn that one. I don't know why, but. You want to burn all these bodies. Now, that's the guy right to my left. And no, you cannot go that way. And you know I got to make sure. I just wanted to check. There's a guy right there to my left. I don't have another bottle, so I can't throw it past him. So what you want to, what you want to do is you want to walk right over here, right over here on the side. You want to hop this gate, this little, this is not even a gate, this little, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's so sure it's not gonna hold anything. Why is it even there? Yeah, he's right there to my left right now. You can't see him. I can't even see him, but I know he's still there. Now there's another guy right in front of you where he's to the right now. He won't see you. He won't see you when you come this way. So you just walk right behind this guy. You get close up to him, and then you knife him in the back of the head. We ain't done yet, though. We still got a couple more guys. You see him still moving? We don't want that. You burn that body. <laughs> you burn that body. We don't want any of these noobs coming back to life. Now, to get this other guy, you just come over here and you jump this fence. Now, in a few seconds, you're not going to be able to see me. All you're going to see is this wall. Don't panic. I'm right in front of it. Just go the same way I go, and then... <laughs> Press forward on your left stick and then jump over that gate. It's real easy. Now this guy right here, just wait till he he's gonna come back. As soon as he turns his back to you and he starts walking the other way, you sneak up behind him like a boss. He can smell you, but he don't see you. He don't hear you. I think they can smell. Pick up that ammo. And set this noob on fire also. Now, right up here on the side of this little... I forgot what you call these things, but this little... There's a chariot, I think. Some, some, it's something like that. They have these bat traps. You want to disable both of those. <laughs> disable both of those bear traps just in case you never know where you're going to need to go. No, I didn't use that torch at all. Now, another one of these little trip, I'm going to just call them trip wires, little trip mines. Disable that one also. Get those parts. Now, what I'm about to do next. You got to be a boss to pull something like this off. Ooh, right me without trying. Oh, look at him. There I go again. Now, you want to open up this little, this little cabinet right here. Now, he is going to hear that. I do that on purpose. He's going to hear that. See, he heard it. Now, what you want to do, just go through this little walkway. Just go around that. He knows you're here. You want to go through there. Look at him. He knows. You want to go through there and then just get behind him. He's a little noob. This is a little noob zombie. <laughs> I guess that's zombie. That's what I'm calling him. Set him on fire. Pick up that ammo. Collect these little upgrade points. I That's what I'm calling him. Now, right here, I'm just doing some extra exploring. You don't have to go through here. I, mean, I was just really trying to make sure that there was nobody else around. And there wasn't nobody else around. Now, before you proceed all the way to this gate, all the way to this gate right here, you're going to see two bodies or three bodies. How many is it? Two bodies? Set these bodies on fire. Why? Because they're not dead. Look at that. They're not dead. <laughs> if you were to go to that to that gate and then try to open it, 
they would have got up, raised up, and killed you. But now you can just open up this little, open this door up pretty easy without any problems. Now here comes the fun part. Well, if you like stealth, it's fun. Now remember when I told you I killed everybody? That was in the previous part. When you come in here, I wouldn't recommend trying to kill everybody. It probably ain't going to work out too good for you. You want to follow the exact path that I'm following right now? Because if you don't, you're probably going to end up getting killed over and over again. Now, in just a few seconds to my left, you're going to see these flesh eating zombies. <laughs> they, they go into town over there. They're having a feast over there. The Canadian Thanksgiving just passed by, and these guys are celebrating. <laughs> they eating over there. Now, one of these noobs, you see him over there to my right. God. That's right. Just keep doing what you're doing. This last noob. Now, if I had a bottle, well, I probably could have picked up that bottle like earlier and kept it and then threw it away somewhere so I could have distracted this guy. But I don't think that's the way this game was. I don't think this part was. I think it was supposed to happen just like this. I'm trying to sneak by. This little noob sees me. He hears me. And then I take off. He missed. But don't do what I did. <laughs> I almost got caught right here because I ran out of stam stamina. Then I had to let my stamina build back up. And then I ran again. And then I got away. Thanks for watching.